From market conditions to personal circumstances, today we're going to unpack when the ideal time is to sell your house and provide you with three questions to help yourself to determine if now is the right time for you. I'm Shreya and this is my husband Mark. We're your real estate professionals based in Gander, Newfoundland. We're dedicated to helping you to unlock real estate success and providing your weekly key to property prosperity. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our real estate tips and advice. Now, let's jump right in. Let's start by discussing the factors that affect the timing of selling your home. And this applies not just in Gander, but in real estate markets everywhere. Number one, the market conditions. The current state of the real estate market in your area is a significant factor. In a seller's market where demand exceeds supply, you might sell your house more quickly and at a higher price, whereas in a buyer's market where there are more homes for sale than buyers, it may take longer to sell and prices may not be as favorable. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to take a look at Gander's market as it stands today at the time of recording. Uh, right now it's October 2023. Uh, if you'd like some current information, if you're watching at a later date and like some current information, feel free to reach out to us. We'll give you all the stats uh, for today's date. Right now, we have 41 homes on the market in Gander. That equates to two months of real estate inventory, meaning that if no new homes came up for sale, we would only have enough homes for two months of real estate transaction. That is a strong seller's market. Yeah, so for context, uh, four to six months of in inventory is considered a balanced market, and six or more months of inventory is considered a buyer's market. So that being said, uh, we've established that we are in a seller's market today in Gander. Market trends also play a significant role. Are prices rising? How long are homes sitting on the market? Yeah, absolutely. And based on our statistics for the calendar year of 2022 and to this point in 2023, we have seen a 4% increase in the home prices in Gander, with homes selling 40% faster this year than they did last year, with an average days on the market of about 27. 40% faster, that's significant. So it's a seller's market. Prices are favorable, the time in which it takes to sell a home is competitive, but both those aren't the only factors to consider. So that brings us to number two, seasonal trends. Uh, real estate often experiences seasonal fluctuations with spring and early summer typically being considered uh, the best times to sell. Uh, as the weather is pleasant, current peels at its peak. However, selling in the off season generally yields less competition from other sellers and buyers who are ready to make decisions versus your nice weather uh, look you lose. Of course, there's always lots of people who wanna go um, looking at houses when the weather is nice. In addition to market conditions and seasonal trends, we have number three, which is the economic conditions. Economic conditions matter. Is the local economy stable? Are there job opportunities? The overall economic conditions, including interest rates, employment rates, and consumer confidence, can affect the timing of a sale. Lower interest rates can attract more buyers, while economic uncertainty might lead to some potential buyers to delay purchasing a home. While interest rates have been less than favorable for homeowners, we can confidently say that Gander's local economy is. This is proven by looking at real estate trends in Gander over the last 10 years. That brings us to number four, your local housing market. So far, we've been looking at Gander as a whole, but the specific conditions of your local neighborhood can also play a significant role. Factors such as supply and demand, neighborhood desirability, recent sales in your area can influence how quickly your home sells. And number five, not only the location of your home, but also the property condition. The condition of your property can impact its sale timing. Well-maintained homes tend to sell more quickly than those in need of repairs or renovations. We'll talk more about that in another video, repairs and home staging prior to selling. But if you're in the market for immediate information, please reach out to us. And last but not least, number six, personal circumstances. Beyond market factors, your personal circumstances are crucial. Your own circumstances such as job, relocation, uh, family changes, or financial considerations can impact when you need to sell. Uh, sometimes personal factors may require a quicker sale, while in other situations you may have some more flexibility. Timing strategies can make a big difference on maximizing your home's value, but determining the, but determining the time is not a one-size-fits-all. Three questions you can ask yourself to help determine if this is a good time for you to sell. One. Is my current home too big or too small for my needs? Two, will selling be in line with my financial goals? 
And three, is moving houses a possibility with my personal circumstances? If you answered yes to all three of these questions, then it's a good idea to have a further conversation with us to determine if it's the best decision for your home and market. We're here to guide you through the entire process. With the right information and guidance, you can make a well-timed decision. If you have questions about selling your home or need expert advice, reach out to us. Being part of an international brokerage allows us to have contacts with experienced agents worldwide. We're here to help. Thanks for watching.